Welcome to our lesson on worksheets. The worksheet window provides a dedicated 2D environment for 2D model-based drawings such as partial floor plans, sections, and for drawings created entirely in 2D. Worksheets can be used as a dedicated environment for finishing drawings using our 2D tools and for working with those consultants that are limited to 2D drawing methods. If we go to our first floor plan, there are two ways to make a worksheet. One is to use the worksheet tool located here. And the other is to right click on worksheets and create a new independent worksheet. For right now, I think I'd like to do a worksheet of a small section of this plan. So we'll click on our worksheet tool, and we have several methods of making the worksheet from here. With the uh, no boundary method, we can just place this marker on the plan, and it will select everything shown in the window. And as in other drawing tools, we have the polygon, the rectangle, and the rotated rectangle. So if we place a rectangle around this section here and then click, we bring up our hammer. That will allow us to place the marker. And now if we look under worksheets, this detail becomes available to us. Right, once our detail is placed on the plan, you can see that now we are working only with 2D elements and the line work and fills has been exploded. And we may want to work with the consolidating lines and fills in drawing windows. As some of these lines may be superfluous and make it difficult for editing. In order to complete line work and fill consolidation, We'll select everything, which we can do using our arrow tool or edit, select all. And we'll go into edit, reshape. Down here you'll see we have line work and fill consolidation. We'll click line work consolidation. That brings up this menu, which gives us different options. One is to delete duplicates, and the other is to explode polylines into drawing primitives. We're going to leave both of those selected and click Next. Now we have an option to check any attributes which the program should ignore when merging lines. We can select the layer, the pen, or the category. Drafting line, cut line, skin separator line. Just leave those alone and click Next. Then we have an option to merge connecting lines and a graphic diagram of how that works. All these options will be explained further in a separate uh, video. We'll just click Next for now. Just run right through this. Once completed, a line work consolidation summary will come up, and you can see that we've deleted six duplicates, merged 126 connecting lines, we've merged overlapping lines, we've deleted lines overlapped by identical lines, etc., etc. So now we've got a very, very basic 2D drawing that we can work with and edit it, and it'll be much simpler. So we'll close this out. Now we select the entire drawing again, and then we go into Edit, Reshape, Fill Consolidation. And we'll run through this real quick. Select OK. And so now our 
fills have been consolidated also. Now if we go into worksheets and we select new independent worksheet, worksheet 03, click create, you'll notice that we have a different icon for the independent worksheet than we do for the worksheet drawing. And when we create a worksheet based on the source model, it's similar to creating a model-based detail. The worksheet's optimized for creating partial floor plans and partial sections. But unlike the detail tool, the worksheet has a single click capture geometry method which reproduces the entire contents of the current window as 2D elements the worksheet viewpoint. And when transferring all or part of a source model view to a worksheet window, annotations, elements, and dimensions appear in the resulting worksheet. In addition to construction elements exploded into the 2D components. In contrast, the detail viewpoint created from model will contain the 2D only copies of construction elements only without the source model's annotations and uh, dimension elements. Given this, the resulting worksheet will have the same scale as the source. In contrast, a detail is created by, by default at a half scale. Now if I delete this worksheet, Now if I go back to the first floor plan and we create some dimensions, And we put a section line through here. and selecting our worksheet tool. And we draw a box around our detail again. You'll notice that even though, say, this dimension and the sections fall outside of the bounding box, If we go into our worksheet drawing, that section and those dimensions will appear in our drawing. And if we select the section, and click Open Section, we can see a section of section view of that particular drawing. So we'll go back to our worksheet. Alright, also worth noting is if we go into our first floor and we move an element in the model and then we go back to our worksheet drawing and we right click on our mouse to bring up a context menu we can come down here to rebuild from source view 
and you'll notice that the element that we moved on the floor plan this will rebuild and move that element on our worksheet. Still broken down into individual fills and line work. So if the worksheet boundary intersects any annotation elements such as dimensions or marker type elements they will transfer into the worksheet window and that includes labels if the arrowhead is inside the boundary dimensions door and window markers detail markers section and elevation markers I find that one of the greatest uses of the worksheets is creating a, a series of independent worksheets to bring in any of our consultants drawings such as surveys, structural drawings, etc. that when placed on an independent worksheet can be used with our virtual trace to compare our consultants drawings or work with our consultants drawings to further the progress of our project and to check to make sure that our consultants drawings and our drawings are working in a cohesive manner and that's working with worksheets.